Good morning. How are you? It is Robin John Rosenhouse, and I am here with your daily energy report for October 26, 2021. If you heard the squeaking in the background, that's Izzy. <laughs> it's there we go. <laughs> it's his time to play with his little puppy. So, let's talk about today's energy and it's it's <laughs> It's going to be kind of ironic because Izzy, that squeaky sound and watching him, he's like happy and he's playing and he's upbeat and, and today's energy message talks about how you might be feeling sad today and how you might be feeling frustrated and um, over what you perceive as lack of progress or things not moving as fast as you would like them. You feel like, you know, you've been at this for a while and, and, you know, and, and, and if you really look hard, you can see the progress that you've made, but you're still like focused on, there's so much more to go. And so you just kind of could be just feeling sad about it. Right? So the antidote to that <laughs> the antidote to that is remembering that you are competent right that you can get this done that you will get it done that you you your goal is achievable right i mean that's that's the bottom line your goal is absolutely achievable you know the speed at which you can reach a goal a goal, a true goal, is something that you haven't done before, right? So when you put a time frame or a time limit on it, it's like you're guessing. You know, you're guessing that you're going to be able to find the resources that you need, learn the skills that you need, um, create the, the inner growth that needs to happen, um, within that, that time limit that you made up, the time limit really means nothing. It's a made up number when you set this goal. And so that's something that you really, it's really important to remember, you know, and, <clears throat> and sometimes I get it especially with money goals, you know, you, you said it, you, you're like, I need to bring in X amount of dollars by X date or Y is going to happen. Right. And so that really can, um, put an interesting kind of pressure on you. Now, for some people, that kind of pressure allows them to, <clears throat> to change their consciousness at a much faster pace and see the, the solutions and the resources and the steps that are available to them at a much quicker pace. For some people, that puts them almost into a state of paralysis and they can barely take any steps. So you wanna remember that all of this is gonna be different for each of you as individual, as an individual, and it's going to depend on what else is going on in your life, right? I mean, there are going to be times when, when you have stuff going on outside of the goal you're trying to reach that is catastrophic, you know? And so you can't decide that because you didn't reach your goal, there's something wrong with you. Right? It's simply you, you had to make a choice about where to put your focus and where to put your attention, and that other thing is where it needed to go. Right? So it, it's you know, keeping those priorities straight and being okay with having to create, you know, you know in, being okay with having to work in accordance with your priorities. All right, but the, but the bottom line is seriously, 
if you if there's something that you want to manifest if there's a goal that you want to reach you have the desire you can have it right you can absolutely have it doesn't guarantee that you will have it because again these goals these desires the things that we're manifesting they require you to change you have to go from so for example in 30k in 30 days right for the people who've never manifested $30,000 in 30 days, they have to change who they are. They have to completely change their identity. An identity from which they were someone who was never able to manifest, call in, make, bring in, whatever you want to say, $30,000 in 30 days. And they have to become a person who does bring in $30,000 in 30 days. It's a complete identity shift. That's one of the biggest issues with goal setting and manifesting that people forget. You literally have to change who you are. And on an interior emotional level, but also in terms of your personality, you have to change because the person who's never reached $30,000 in 30 days is a completely different person than the one who does make $30,000 in 30 days, especially with ease. That's probably the biggest hurdle that you could ever experience, come up against. I mean, it's just like when you go from never having had a boyfriend or girlfriend before, right? At a young age, right? And now all of a sudden you do have one, right? If you can think back to those times, you're a different person. It's a completely different shift. Yes, on the inside, you're still the same all the way deep down. You most likely still have the same values and things like that. Assuming you're aware of what your real values are, okay? Um, but even your values can change regardless of what's going on. As you mature, your values change. You're never the same person. Your personality is always going to change. Period. The end. And so if you're struggling with something, the longer you struggle the more you your personality changes to fit a person who constantly struggles the more you achieve the more your personality shifts to a person who achieves you've got to be willing to allow that to happen if you want to manifest so in terms of today's reading that's what i want you to remember you may, you may be feeling sad about the rate at which you're progressing towards your goals or your manifestations, but you have to be willing to be the person who does reach them. So even if you've never reached them before, even if you don't believe you can reach them, you need to be willing to be the type of person who does and can and will. It's a personality shift. Okay, this is some of the stuff that we're going to be working on in 30K in 30 days, right? It's, it's a fun experiment, but don't, you know, and, and it, it's got the potential to really create some huge, huge, huge changes for you. And you have to realize because we're doing this so fast that you are going to have to change your personality a little bit to be the type of person who does the work that raises the probability of you calling in and having $30,000 at the end of 30 days. This is an additional 30,000 over and above what you are already bringing in on a regular basis. So keep that in mind as well. So now we're talking about excess money. You have to become the type of person and be willing to be the type of person 
who is okay with having excess money in your life. A lot of people have a hard time with that. So if those are um, personality shifts that you're willing to consider and willing to have among the many, many, many other shifts you're going to have to make, because you do have to make the shifts. You've got to do things that you've never done before. You have to be a person you've never been before. If you want to reach a goal you've never reached before. So if that sounds good for you, good to you, go to robinjrosenhouse.com, click on 30K in 30 days, join us. It's only $30. We start November 1st, which is what, six days away? We start at 12.30 uh, p.m. Eastern Time. So I really hope to see you there. You, when you get to, uh, when you click on the 30 days and 30K in 30 days, you'll see everything that you get, everything that, um, that the program entails. It completely, completely, completely over delivers. I can tell you that. So I hope to see you there. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will be back here with you tomorrow on Wednesday, October 27th, <laughs> with your daily energy report. Remember, when you align your energy, you accelerate your results. Have a great day.